Hello everyone, welcome to in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to see the next problem on beta function type 1. So in type 1, our limits of integration will always be from 0 to 1. So the basic formula of beta of m comma n is given by integration of 0 to 1, x raised to m, m minus 1, 1 minus x, the whole raised to n minus 1 into dx. So this is the basic formula of beta of m comma n where the limits are from 0 to 1 and in this type also will be given that the limits of integration are 0 to 1. So this is our question. So if you see here we have the limits from 0 to 1. So this is of the type 1 and we have to reduce this given equation in this form so that we can apply the formula of beta of m comma n. So in this question we have to prove this equation is equal to this term. So consider this integration i equal to integration of 0 to 1 x raised to 2n. I am taking this 1 minus x square up in the numerator. So it will be 1 minus x square. In the denominator, it can be represented as 1 minus x square, the whole raised to half. The root sign can be represented as half. When this term goes in the numerator, it will become minus half into dx. So if you see, these two terms are similar, but here we want 1 minus x term and here we have 1 minus x square term. So we put x square equal to some other variable. So our x will be t raised to half and dx will be half t raised to minus half dt. So this is our dx term. Since we are changing the variable, our limits of integration will also get changed. So here we write initial variable and initial variable is x and the new variable is t and the x is going from 0 to 1. So x is from 0 to 1. When we put x equal to 0, our t is also 0. When we put x equal to 1, our t is also 1. So now our new integration will become integration of 0 to 1. What is x? x is t raised to half. So x is t raised to half. The whole raised to 2n. So the whole raised to 2n into 1 minus x square. Instead of x square, we are writing t the whole raised to minus half and instead of dx we will substitute half t raised to minus half so half t raised to minus half dt so we can take this half outside integration because it is a constant so we get half integration of 0 to 1 now this consider this term it is nothing but t raised to half the whole raised to 2n so into 2n this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled and we get t raised to n. Now we will combine this t raised to n and t raised to minus half. So t raised to n and t raised to minus half is nothing but t raised to n minus half. 